Hello, math makers. Thank you for showing up for another math lesson. Guess what, guys? We're starting a brand new unit. Um, this is lesson number one or part number one of identifying and counting money. I know everyone likes to have a little bit of money. Well, we want to work today on helping you know what money you have and how much you have. So as we get started today, there's going to be some things we go over that you already know, and that's okay. There's going to be some things we go over today that you might not have known already, and that's okay too. Um, so, but as we get started, we're going to learn together. Either way, whether you're in the ones who know or don't know, stick with me, and let's go through the lesson together. A couple of words we need to know at first as we get started. One is coins. Coins are money that is made out of metal. And you know the coins, the change in your pocket. Those are coins. And they have different values. That means they're worth different amounts of money. The next is the word cents. And that's what those values are. A penny is one cent. A dime is ten cents. Those are the different values. And they use the little cent symbol that you've probably seen before. Now, these are kind of small here. But we are going to go ahead and go over all the different types of coins that we might be using in our lessons. And our picture is going to show you the front and the back. That way, if you have one in your pocket, <clears throat> you can look at your hand and say, I know what I have. So the first one we have is a penny. A penny is worth one cent. You can write it one cent. There's our cent symbol, or it can be written with a dollar sign and a decimal. Next, we have a nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. There's our five cents. We have a dime. A dime is worth 10 cents. 10 cents. A quarter is worth 25 cents. And of course, we can write it this way, 25 cents. And we have a half dollar. Now, half dollars, you really don't see that often, but they are out there. If you get a half dollar, it's bigger than a quarter. On the back, it even says half dollar. And a half dollar is worth 50 cents. <clears throat> and they call it a half dollar because it's worth half a dollar. And a dollar is 100 cents. Half of 100 is 50. So a half dollar is worth 50 cents. That makes sense. And the only bill we're going to go over today, a dollar bill we're going to go over today, is our one dollar bill. Our one dollar bill is worth 100 cents. And it is written, again, with our dollar sign and our one and a a decimal. Now, you may have noticed that on a lot of our other ones, the money amount, the cents, was behind the decimal. When we get to a dollar, once we get to a hundred cents, it goes in front of the decimal. So that's something we do. Now, before we start counting, let's do a quick review. I bet you didn't know you were going to have a quiz. It's not a real quiz, but we're going to try it anyway. I've mixed up our coins. Let's go over what they're worth. Let's remember, our first coin here is a what? It's a, it's a dime. And how much is a dime worth? 10 cents. Our next coin here is a penny. That's right. <clears throat> and how much is a penny worth? One cent. Our next coin here, what is it? A nickel. And a nickel is worth how much? Five cents. Next, we have our coin here. It's the one we rarely see. It's a half dollar. And how much is a half dollar worth? Fifty cents. And the last coin we're going to look at today is a quarter. And how much is a quarter worth? Twenty-five cents. Now we have our bill right here. And what kind of bill is it? It is a $1 bill. Gives you the answer right there on the front. It has a one in every corner. <clears throat> and a $1 bill is worth $1. Now, how do we count money? Now that we know what the money is, and we know what kind of coins and bills there are, how do we count it? There's actually different ways we can count the money. <clears throat> We're going to show you one way today. I'm going to show you another way in lesson two. Um, and really, whatever works for you is fine until you can do it automatically, kind of in your head almost. 
Um, so we picked, I picked five of the same coin. <clears throat> now we're going to do a few of these with the same coin. This is repeated addition. If you think about skip counting, um, you may have done counting by ones or counting by fives or counting by tens. Those are all coin amounts or cent values. So, um, but we're going to practice with um, the penny first and of course we're going to use a number line this time and we've used this before but every time we count because a penny is worth one cent each time we're just going to count by one because it's worth one cent so if I have one penny I'm going to move it one and I have one cent so I did plus one because it's only worth one if I add a second one I'm going to add one again because again it's also worth one cent when I add this third one, how much am I going to add? One, that's right. Now I have three cents. When I add this fourth one, I'm going to add one again for a penny's worth one cent. Now I have four cents. Now I'm going to add my last one. And how much more am I going to add? One, because a penny's worth one cent. Now I have five cents. So I have one, two, three, four, five cents. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, five cents, isn't that a nickel? It is. And you can use different coins if you mix them up to make things that are worth the same as different coins. But you're going to want to remember, so put that right here, that five pennies makes a nickel. That's going to be something you need to know later. So keep that in your brain. Next, let's do something a little bit harder. Let's do a nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. Now, you've probably had a teacher at some point in time teach you how to count by fives. If not, you may want to look up some videos on that or learn the song. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and you can go on and on and on. That's the same thing as counting by nickels because nickels are worth five and you're counting by five. So when we count by fives, we're going to each time we add a nickel, we're going to add five. So when if I do my first nickel, I add five, and now I have five cents. That's one nickel. When I have two nickels, I'm going to add another five because each one's worth five, and now I have ten cents. Yes, that's a dime. I know. But we're going to keep on moving. So two nickels is worth a dime. If I add that third nickel, I add five again because it's also worth a nickel of five cents. Now I have 15 cents. Can you see our counting by fives? 5, 10, 15, you see it. I add my fourth nickel, I add 5 again. Now I have 20. And if you're having trouble with that, you can always just use your fingers. If you start with 15 here, you can go 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You can use fingers if you need to. Or little counters, that's fine too. And then last, we're going to add our last 5. We added 5 again, and now we have 25 cents. And again, just like the last time, you're probably thinking, hey, isn't that a quarter? It is. Five nickels makes one quarter. So again, that's one of those things you want to put up here. You need to know that for later. The last one we're going to do before I mix up all the coins and make it a little bit trickier is we're going to add five dimes. A dime, of course, is worth 10 cents. So each time we count, we're going to add how much? 10 cents. Um, Counting by tens, you've done it before. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Counting by tens. So when you count with times, you're counting by tens. So we're going to count on number line again. If I add my first dime, I'm going to add 10 because a dime is worth 10 cents. Now I have 10. When I add my second dime, I'm adding 10 again. Now I have 20 cents. If I add my third time, how much am I adding? 10, that's right. So now I have 30 cents. Can you see we're counting by 10s? 10, 20, 30. When I add my fourth time, how much do I add? 10 again. Now I have 40 cents. And when I add my last dime here, I'm adding how much more? 10 cents again. And that gets me to 50 cents. And again, just like a half dollar. Five dimes make a half dollar. Um, so that's the basic way we count by money. We count by coins, count by amounts. Whatever the coin is worth, 
that's how much more we add. It's a repeated addition. We keep on adding until we, we've added up all the coins. So this time we're going to add one with, we're going to mix it up. I have a quarter, a dime, a nickel, another dime, a penny. How much are all those things worth? Hopefully you remember, but if not, we have our little quick review. So our first coin here is a quarter. So the first time we add, we're going to add 25 cents. So when I start on my number line, I'm going to add 25 cents first. Now, why did I start with my quarter? For me, I like to start with the bigger coins first because I don't want to add a bigger number at the end. If I start with my bigger number, I get to add smaller numbers to it, which means I can probably use my fingers, maybe my toes, hopefully not. Um, but I can just use my fingers to add up each time. So that's why I always start. I like to start with the larger coin. So I'm starting with 25 because a quarter is worth 25 cents. Our next one that we had was a dime. And if you remember, a dime is worth 10 cents. So I'm going to add how much to this 25? 10, because a dime is worth 10 cents. 25 plus 10 is 35. Again, I can use fingers or I can just jump, um, jump by 10. Next, we're going to add a nickel. And how much is a nickel worth? Five cents. So for this next one, I'm going to add five. So again, 35 plus five, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. We're at 40 cents. And again, we're just, we're just a repeated addition. And, I'm, and if you write it down, it will, might help you remember it. If you can't remember that number in your head, it's okay to write it down. That way you don't make a mistake. We have a dime, and we know from here that a dime is worth 10 cents. So we're just going to add 10 more. 40 plus 10 is 50. Then we have one more coin left. We have our penny. A penny is worth one cent. So this for the last one, we're going to add one cent. And 50 plus one for the one cent is 51, which means we have 51 cents. That's how you count change. Does that make it a little bit easier? I hope so. That's the goal is when you go to these lessons is that we're making math easier, which is why I'm calling you math makers. Guys, until next time, we'll see you soon. And thanks for joining us here today.